In this demo, you'll see how you can use interactive dashboards to better plan and manage your business. In particular, we'll demonstrate how you can easily make changes to your strategic plan to see how a revenue uplift can have a ripple through effect on hiring plans for sales reps. Say you're an executive in a large company and you want to understand the organization's strategic plan if you were to increase the revenue targets by 25%. You want to see what impact this change would have down to EBITDA level. To do this, let's select all revenues in 2021. Right click and then adjust. See how easy it is to make a simple change and see all of the trickle-down effects, including changes to the revenue numbers in FY 2022 onwards. In the dashboard, you can see that all the graphs are also updated. Let's take a closer look at the numbers to see what the comparison between old targets versus increased targets are for revenue. The revenue targets chart shows, for instance, that leaders in the U.S. will now have to come up with ways to make about $4 million more in revenue. To do this, we look at the Strategic Plan Pass 1 and Working Strategic Plan, comparing the previous targets in green with the new targets in blue. If we look at the scorecard details, we see that there is a variance in account executive and targeted account executive. It appears we don't have enough account executives on staff to start the year. This shortfall could be contributing to the revenue gap and will likely be a problem going forward, unless we address it with additional hires. Looking at the workforce planning sheet, we see that a group of new hires is planned between February and March. Perhaps we could reduce the revenue gap by accelerating the hire date of one or more of those account execs. We'll take a look at that process in another video.